guys. It's me, Abby. And we're going to go let you see the view outside with the lights turned off. So let's go. Let's open up the curtain. Hello. No. Uh, oh. uh, I'm shying to. Oh. So, guys. So. This is the outside. So, which house did you guys want to look at? Oh, here's the my Dee Dee's Christmas decorations. Well, I'm going to tell you a little story today. See that house right over there? That house? Yeah. Um, you see that house? The girl that lives there, my dad work my dad works for her her name was Miss K and yeah. they claim that it's haunted back 80s or 50s they said um, you know There was this girl and boy. He, the boy was heading off to work. And, um, something really bad happens. What happened was, he went to work. He got shot. And, um, his wife was waiting for to get off of work but he never did come home you know it wasn't that auspicious it was really auspicious he, and she waiting for him to come home but the girl in the house right up there they used to be the mayor's house. Well, anyway, um, yeah, it's a true story. I wish I would own that house, but the idiot's gonna let it go to the ground. By the way, his name is Brad. Yes, he is a very idiot. Very much idiot, okay. I don't know his last name, but uh-oh. <sighs> She died. Finally died waiting on him. Then somebody bought the house. The they put a for sale sign on it. Somebody bought the house. And Claimed that they saw a girl in a wedding dress. It was their wedding day, by the way. And they saw a girl with curly hair, orange curly hair, in a wedding dress. Going up and down the hallway. And that's... Oh, with that, I'm closing the window now. Yeah. And actually, this guy named Brad bought the house. He's not really, you know, doing anything with it. He's just letting it go down to the ground. There's cats over there and stuff. I'm coming out. I hope you 
guys, like and subscribe, and turn on the notification. If not, the ghosts will kill. Uh, wait. Goodbye.